This is the Make Time Infinium here with another Infinium short take. This Infinium short take is entitled Better to Be the One That Warns. Now, as a MGTOW man, you will find yourself in the uh, position of warning other men about the dangers of women, like not getting married, not getting tangled up with single mothers, not paying for meals, not uh, doing things that you should not do as a man because it will cause you problems. You'll find also that the men that you're warning will laugh at you, will not heed your warning, will not um, uh, listen to you in certain cases. And in fact, they will kind of criticize you and say that there is something wrong with you, that you, uh, for instance, are homosexual because you can't get women or or um, you um, you just uh, have something deficient with you in terms of being able to relate to women. But in actuality, you are the one with your eyes open. You see the dangers that are out there. And all you're trying to do is to, again, warn them of those inherent dangers. But I'm here to tell you, uh, because of the frustration that it can cause in you, uh, because it is frustrating when people don't listen to you and people don't heed the warnings that you give to them. I'm here to tell you that it's better to be the one that warns than to be the one that is being warned and does not hear, heed the warning. Example given, many years ago, I had a friend who I found was uh, getting ready to marry a thought. When I found that this was happening, I warned him not to proceed with the wedding because he would be divorced uh, from this person and she would destroy his life. My direct words were, were, uh, were to him were, Better to be embarrassed than to be divorced. He didn't listen to me, didn't heed the warning, proceeded with the wedding. They got divorced within a year. She divorced, raped him, and totally cleaned him out. And this is when he had a significant uh, salary at the time. He was working as a defense, working for a defense contractor. But she divorced, raped him with the reasoning that he could not support the lifestyle that she was used to. But again, I, my eyes were open to her. My eyes were open to who she was. And again, I tried to, as a friend to this man, warn him not to proceed with the wedding because I knew this would be the outcome. But I look at things this way. Had it been me, I would have been destroyed. So, again, it is better to be the one that warns than the one that is being warned and does not heed the warning. Again, you will find as a MGTOW man, you will encounter this. But again, take this tidbit of, of uh, wisdom. It is better to be the one that warns than the one that is being warned and does not heed the warning. You as a MGTOW man, you have your eyes open to the things that women do. You have your eyes open to the plantation state that we're in. You have your eyes open and you are the one that's free. These men that you're trying to warn and who are laughing at you, who are uh, criticizing you, who, who are saying that you're a homosexual because you can't get a woman, or you can't get laid, you can't get this, you can't get that, I'm more successful than you, um, throw that aside and look at your freedom and look at what you have your eyes open to. And then again, understand this. It is better to be the one that warns than the one that is being warned and does not heed the warning. My MGTOW brothers, stay safe. Stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path, and remember, MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.